Dear students, I welcome you to this video on Educational Psychology, a paper in B.A. program. In which, let us see about attention. What is attention? Have you ever heard about this announcement in railway stations? That is, attention please. In classrooms, the teachers used to say, pay your attention. What is the literal meaning of attention? The literal meaning of attention is observation, concentration, notice, contemplation, or notice taken of someone or something, the regarding of someone, something as important or interesting. Now let us see about the determinants of attention. The determinants of attention are divided into two. One is external factors and two is internal factors. Now let us see external factors. The external factors, features of stimuli, such as size, intensity and shape. If you see an elephant in your street, it will draw your attention. This is size. If you hear a sound of an ambulance, it will draw your attention. This is intensity. If you see a big truck is going on in your street, it will draw your attention. So it is shape. These are all external factors. Then what are internal factors? Internal factors are divided into two. One is motivational factors and two is cognitive factors. Motivational factors further divided into two needs. One is biological need, another one is social need. Biological need, a child at a younger age thinking of consuming a lot of chocolates. In later stage, consuming fast food or something uh, fancy food. And in the aged stage, it will think of hygienic food. Then this is known as biological need. Then social need, what is the role of us in the society? How do the society perceive us? Or who are all getting important uh, places in the society? This is social needs. What is our society? Traffic expects from us traffic rules, following traffic rules or examples for that. Then what are cognitive factors? Cognitive factors represent the process of your brain. If you have studied commerce and whatever comes to you, you will, thinking of, you will be thinking of debit and credit. And if you have studied history, you will be thinking of its past history. So this is the cognitive factors that will attract your attention. So this is about attention and determinants of attention. Thank you so much.